up for Mr. Bruce Dilley. Thank you so much. So we talked about lust. We've talked about sloth. Now it's time to get a little greed into it so we can get all the seven deadly sins in. With respect to Brian, I'm going to ask you a stupid question. And that stupid question is, what's the difference between blockchain and Bitcoin? And I thought about this because I was writing a book called Where Data is Wealth. And the two things I took away from that was first, we're digitizing everything of value in our society. So naturally I became interested in blockchain and Bitcoin because I think it's really possible that someone might have invented a better mousetrap. And that's important because only 4% of our cash is actually in the form of paper. 96% of it is electronic. Now, blockchain is a theory. Blockchain is an idea. Blockchain is a process. It's a method. Bitcoin, on the other hand, is an application of that theory. Bitcoin has practical uses. Bitcoin is a record made using blockchain of exchanges that people are making with one another. Now, when you take a look at this, what's really closest in an analogy is double entry bookkeeping. So blockchain is a method of keeping records. Double entry bookkeeping is a, a method of, of record keeping. Bitcoin, on the other hand, is more like a balance sheet. So it's more like IBM's annual balance statement. So it's, so it's actually a practice. And it's got a lot of things that are unique to it that are different. Now, why blockchain is so powerful is because it's peer-to-peer. -peer. And, and that's a problem I'm going to discuss later when we talk about what some problems with our current financial system are. Now, with cash, I can give it to the person next to me, and that's fine. But if I want to charge them my credit card, I have to go through a central authority. So Bitcoin really works like everyone has their, a bank on their phone or their laptop. So as you can see, Bitcoin, there's no central area to, to exchange value. Another advantage that blockchain has is that blockchain is scalable. That means that you could have billions of people use it on the one hand, and on the other hand, you could do transactions that are so small to, they could be worthwhile even for electronic commerce. So an example of Bitcoin, Bitcoin actually now is worth about $29 billion, and on the day that I brought this data down, it had thousands and thousands and thousands of transactions. Now, another advantage of blockchain is, the, is that it's transparent. Everybody sees everybody else's records. So everybody has a copy of everybody else's transactions, which promotes honesty. And an example of that in Bitcoin is that Bitcoin is actually open source software. So anyone can download it, anyone can see it, anyone can really figure out exactly what's going on with Bitcoin. Now, another advantage that blockchain has is it can be private. So even though everyone has a record, that record is encrypted. That record is constituted in such a way that even though you know what the record says, you don't know who it's associated with. And that's important because stealing Bitcoin is the perfect crime. All these James Bond villains wouldn't screw around with nuclear weapons. They're messy. They're dangerous. They would be trying to steal Bitcoin because as far as I know, no one's ever been prosecuted for it. Blockchain is also mutable. Blockchain is also something that you can use for more things than just currency. It can be used for any type of record keeping, for votes, for medical records, for contracts. So Bitcoin by the same token, there are over 700 blockchain currencies and new currencies are being invented every day. Which I think is a great example of blockchain's mutability. Now this is important because we have a problem with our financial system. We, that problem is trust. The double entry bookkeeping method requires that you trust the person who holds your money. And when, it, when that person's a crook like Bernie Madoff, we lose that trust. So if you think about what the future is, I don't know if anyone here owns any Bitcoin. I don't know if anyone here has ever used a blockchain record. But my prediction is in the future, someday all of us are going to be using it to exchange value. Now, I'm going to be, that was 
blockchain and Bitcoin in five minutes, I'm going to be giving a two-hour presentation about the future of the money later at the Da Vinci Institute. And thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Yeah.